Today I'd like to teach you how to add and subtract polynomials. And uh, I bet you'll find that uh, it's really easy and familiar to do. Whenever you're adding or subtracting polynomials, there's really kind of two thoughts to keep in mind. One thought is uh, when you're adding polynomials, you need to combine like terms. So you've probably done that before, combine like terms. And that simply means find the terms that have the same variable part, like the x cubed terms, for instance, and combine them together by adding their coefficients. So sometimes textbooks will separate polynomials in a problem with parentheses. When you're adding, those parentheses are really pointless. You don't really need them. They're just keeping straight the two original polynomials that have been added together here. And so I like to ignore them and uh, just focus on combining like terms. So I'm going to find all the x cubed terms. And sometimes I like to underline them. Uh, I like to do it three times for uh, x cubed, because that power is 3. And then, uh, well, here's some more x cubed. There's 9x cubed here, and there's 3x cubed here. That's a total of 14. Add their coefficients together. x cubed. Remember, when you're adding uh, terms together, the variable part stays the same. x cubed plus x cubed is still x cubed. And uh, now I'll look for the next power. So here's x squared. I like to underline those with 2. And uh, well, I don't see any other x squared, so that's really easy. Then uh, it's just 4x squared. And then I'll look at the x's. Uh, here's a negative 3x and a positive 1x. I like to think who wins and by how much when I'm dealing with positive and negative combinations. So a negative 3x and a positive 1x, the negatives win, uh, 3 versus 1. Uh, and uh, when you subtract those, uh, they won by 2. So negative 2x would be what we would write. And then uh, the number terms, I either circle them or sometimes I'll just put a dot underneath them to show that I've thought about them. I've got a positive 1 and a negative 7. And again, who wins? The negatives by how much? Uh, 7 versus 1. Those are 6 apart. So I'd write minus 6. And this polynomial is our answer. In our next video, I'll teach you how to check if that's the correct answer, uh, which is pretty easy to do. You just plug in a number for x and see if uh, the answer, um, the number you get when you plug in a number for the answer, um, and the number you get when you plug in uh, the question. If those match, then uh, you did it right. So to subtract polynomials, uh, we will keep in mind combining like terms, but we also need to think about uh, the fact that subtracting is the same thing as adding the opposite. And I suggest any time you have a subtraction problem that you first of all take a second and rewrite it um, as adding the opposite. Uh, when subtracting, the parentheses do matter. Uh, this uh, parentheses here indicates that this whole polynomial is being subtracted. That means each of these terms is being subtracted. So I'm subtracting negative 2x cubed. I'm subtracting 3x's. And I'm subtracting negative 4. Um, I like to draw some arrows here and, and think about using the distributive property. So subtracting negative 2x cubed is the same thing as adding 2x cubed. And subtracting 3 is the same thing as adding a negative 3x. And subtracting negative 4 is the same thing as adding a positive 4. This first polynomial here, that's, uh, that does not need to be changed. It is not being subtracted. It is the thing that we are subtracting from. And so it will stay, uh, the signs will stay the same. Uh, you could rewrite them again, negative 2x cubed and 5x squared, negative x and 8 if you want. Um, I usually don't bother. Uh, I will. Uh, now look and combine like terms, just like we did before. So negative 2x cubed, and the other x cubed term is this one down here, adding 2x cubed. 
when you have a negative 2x cubed and a positive 2x cubed. Uh, that's unique. Those things uh, cancel themselves out completely. And so there is no x cubed term in my answer at all. Uh, I just won't write anything. Be careful not to write x cubed because that would mean 1x cubed, positive 1, and that would be wrong. So I'll just leave it off completely. Um, I'll look at the x squared terms now. I've got uh, 5x squared here and no other x squared term. So that's easy again. I'll just write 5x squared is my first term. Uh, then the x's, I've got a negative 1x and what amounted to negative 3x here. So a negative 1 and a negative 3 add together to get you negative 4x's. And uh, finally, um, look at the number term. There's an 8 and uh, what amounted to a positive 4 when you subtract negative 4. So a positive 8 and a positive 4 combined together to give us a positive 12. So there's how you add and subtract polynomials. Very similar if you've ever learned about combining like terms uh, to what you've done in the past. Tune back in next time to uh, learn how to check your work uh, by evaluating polynomials.